What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 4 Strategy Gaming. It is time for some more StarCraft 2 commentary. Today it's going to be a best of three game series here between Killer and RSVP. Over here in the 9 o'clock spawn location of the Shatter Temple, we have got Killer as our yellow Zerg player. And then down over here in the 6 o'clock, our red Protoss player is going to be RSVP. All right, let's go ahead and get this game underway, my friends. Starting out, Killer will be moving down with his Overlord Scout, and he'll be spotting RSVP very, very shortly, as that Overlord just needs to make it to right about here until he catches the edge of that base. Now, let's see what RSVP is going to be doing. Looks like it will be a Forge Fast Expand. As he drops his pylon right here, we'll be seeing that Forge Gateway and Cybernex Core take up that frontal wall with some cannons behind it for defense. The other option besides going this way that he has is to actually cut at an angle with a nexus right here. But if he did that, I would actually expect the pylon to be in a, a little bit forward back position, maybe possibly over here or something like that. All right, so Overlord Scout has now spotted out RSVP, and he'll be moving to the front to see where that pylon is and what kind of opening it's going to be. Uh, D-Killer, since he was able to scout out RSVP right away, should just be able to keep his drones on mining. Doesn't have to actually pull out with one of those to get any scouting done, since the Overlord should be able to uh, amply figure out what's going on. Going to be seeing pool first here from Killer. Uh, he hasn't scouted anything at the front yet, and that's a dead giveaway that there's a Forge Fast Expand. And you, of course, don't want to go hatch first if that's the case, because then you will deal with Cannon Harass. C Cannon Harass back here, very effective uh, when, you do a, uh, when you do a Forge Fast Expand if your Zerg player, Zerg opponent, actually ends up going for a fast hatch at around 15 supply. You can really devastate them with something like that. Also, a little bit of Harass here coming down from the probe of RSVP. Not going to likely kill anything off, but just trying to be a nuisance here. There we go, Overlord now spotting that forge. Let's see what RSVP does, if he goes Nexus first, or if he will decide to uh, try to get down a couple of cannons. You can see saving up those resources, it looks like it probably will be Nexus first. There's that expansion now for Killer, and RSVP just kind of dancing around with that probe. Uh, what is he going to do now? Let's take a Gander over here. No Extractor yet. And he's just kind of chilling out right now. Actually, hasn't decided to drop anything. And there's the Nexus, as well as that next pylon to get rid of that supply block there. So again, we're going to be seeing a wall off go at this angle right here. Cut at a kind of a, a little diagonal angle uh, with what he's doing here. There's this first cannon as well. Very, very nice indeed. We should be seeing a gateway come down very shortly. Let's see what he, where he decides to place that bad boy. Actually going second cannon first, just in case he wants to make sure he's protected against any early game Zergling harass. Uh, because maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that if the links were right down here, that cannon would be just out of range. So he wanted to make sure he could cover all angles of that nexus. And there's that gateway. So there you go, that full wall off will be coming sometime shortly. Again, going right at this angle, cutting it down to the right. We'll be seeing a very quick third here from Killer. Killer deciding that he wants to get that quick next expansion up uh, due to the fact that his opponent will be going for that quick expansion himself. And we'll also be trying to get that economic advantage. One big danger, though, of course, is this is going to be pretty vulnerable if we see RSVP, let's say, go six or seven gate level one push. And uh, with, some, uh, with some force field walls here, he could actually push on this pretty easily and take it out. And it's really uh, something that Killer would have a hard time defending against. But we'll have to see, first of all, whether or not RSV RSVP scouts it and uh, then also whether or not Killer would be able to defend. We'll be seeing a nice fan out of units here as we are going to be seeing Killer look around for proxy pylons. You can see he's got Zerglings going everywhere. There's actually a probe over there trying to drop and he gets intercepted by that Zergling and uh, the probe should be able to get that scout as a metabolic boost is uh, not coming of course because there has been no extractors due to that quick expansion but let's see if he can deny the scouting going into the main. It looks like he manages to do so as a few additional Zerglings end up intercepting that probe and forcing him back. Now here comes the Zealot to try to uh, deal with the lane and uh, just barely making it past that Zealot. One more shot and that Zergling would be dead, but he's going to continue to make his way into safety here of the rest of those lanes. Getting us around. Nice micro, though. Getting that one injured Zergling. We got another injured Zergling. He gets targeted again. Very nice micro there from RSVP. Trying to knock down those injured lanes. Let's see if that Zealot manages to push up for that scout in the upper left-hand position there. Let's take a look. No, there goes the probe. The probe's going to get the scout. He's going to be aware, or is this one for dropping a pylon off? Okay, first checking that high yield expansion. Don't know why, because he really isn't likely to have had a high yield up. 
Now the Zealot gets taken out, but there is the Scout. And checking just the creep, that's all he needs to see. He now knows there's an Expo up there. So let's see what he decides to do. Cybernex Core up and Chrono Boosting out. We do have a, got a Robotics down. We're going to be seeing a few more Gateways get placed down here as well from RSVP. We'll be sitting now on a total of four Gateways. Let's see if he decides to get any more or if he'll just be going four gate one robo. Couple lings moving down and this expansion going to start to get saturated. We're seeing a Roach Warren come out as well as this metabolic boost over here from Killer. Uh, Killer at the moment just sitting on these two extractors. Probably going to want to get up another one or two sometime shortly. He is also of course focused on droning up to get some good saturation over here. Some more fanning out of the lings. Once more checking for proxy pylons just in case this aggression comes and how impeccable is that timing. The Ling makes it down just in time. He spots that pylon, so should be able to take it out first and foremost, though. Priority numero uno will be to kill off that probe, and he's actually not focused on that at all. He's got the queen over here. The probe's going to be moving up in this position. First thing, though, force the cancel of that pylon. Probe going for the high ground. <laughs> Scouted clearly by that overlord. Again, everything that Killer's doing right now is just trying to delay any push from being effective. Got an observer scout moving out. Here comes a Twilight Council. We'll be seeing actually a War Prism, so we'll be seeing some War Prism harass coming through here. Some more pylons up here. Those will get taken care of by those Lings, and we again will be seeing some more Prism harass. DT is going to be the name of the game here with the Twilight Council opening up that tech for that Dark Shrine. Another gateway coming out. So we will be seeing some draw harass as well as DT. A couple zealots get warped in there from those pylons just before the lings can take them out. So those are going to be a threat that will force the creation of a few more roaches just to deal with that. Again, this amount of lings is not enough to deal with those zealots. So uh, he's kind of just forced to deal with that. One big thing that we're seeing RSVP do right here is he's really focused on distracting killer. And uh, with that, he's going to be able to get that war prism harass down. And hopefully uh, for him, it'll be effective. Dark Shrine is still a ways away. Overlord Scout moving in. Let's see if he manages to check that. I don't think he's checked it yet. No, he has not. A couple of Roaches and a Zergling is enough to take out those Zealots, although we still got that Pylon over there. Got to take a look at that War Prism. War Prism right here hasn't done anything yet. This Pylon's about to get taken out, so Roach is finally able to deal with that. A couple more Extractors getting placed down over here again. Going to need that Vespian as he starts to work his way up into higher tech. We do have some upgrades coming out for those Roaches. Speed and the level 1 Missile Attacks. Here comes that War Prism. Dark Shrine very close to finish, so we'll be seeing DT in just a moment here. I'm not sure he's got any cloak detection. Doesn't at the moment. We'll be seeing Roach Hydra here from Killer. Looks like that will be his composition of choice, but here come the DT, and then all of a sudden Killer's like, oh, what the crap. <laughs> have to deal with DT. We got a spine coming down. He's gonna need a lot more than that. Overseer should be coming through. There it is. Overseer spawned that one. His uh, layer's getting very dangerously close to taking out, but now that the Overseer is here, RSVP, RSVP decides to pull back with that. And there you go, guys. There you go, indeed. Oh, the Lord Scout checking those rocks, getting knocked down. He knows that uh, he's going to have to deal with that. He knows about the Dark Shrine. Didn't even have to scout that out. We're seeing a transition right now into Colossus as he tries to work up some actual uh, late-game techie. There may be enough room there. I was a little concerned for a moment. Maybe Colossus would have gotten trapped and actually canceling that off and dropping it over here. There you go. Yeah, it looks like he would have trapped in his Colossus if he actually left that building right there. I don't think there would have been any room for them to move. And that, of course, would have been pretty awful. We will still be seeing some more drop harass come through, though. Um, we will be seeing that Warp Prison move on over. Although, what is he doing? Just sitting in the middle of the map. Here come the Hydras, Roaches, and Speedlings. As we'll be seeing a Roach, uh, Roach Hydra Speedling push here from Killer Durr. Obviously, he'll be pushing with the units he has. Uh, but yes, this is actually really good here by Killer. If he can do some damage before those Colossus come into play, he'll be uh, pretty solid here. At the very least, I would have liked to see him push onto these back rocks to try to hit that Expo. He knows about it because that Overlord scouted those rocks getting dropped. So he should be aware that that Expo is likely coming. Here come the DT in the main going straight for that Evolution Chamber. Trying to stop the... Uh, yes, he does. Takes, look how quickly DT dropped the links. It is redonkulous how fast that happens. So there you go. Uh, now all of a sudden the upgrade severely delayed here for Killer. He's going to be forced to actually move that evolution chamber and come dropping down another spine as well. He's got that cloak detection there from that spore. But that was a pretty unfortunate situation there for Killer. Um, as we can see, Killer has decided not to push yet. He's actually just going to continue to macro up. As, again, his macro did get uh, pretty delayed there by that DT bomb taking out that evolution chamber that had some research going. But here comes a little mobilization here from Killer. That is scouted by the Observer, so RCP is aware that this is coming. 
don't think he's got any Colossus in play yet, so here comes this first one in just a second. Still pushing back, he spots the uh, Observer, decides to snipe that out before he engages. And here we go, push coming right now. Trying to actually take out that forward, trying to retaliate by dropping that uh, tech. And a couple force fields getting placed down. First Colossus is in play. He's gonna take in a couple shots there from the low ground. Not think he's, don't think he's gonna get dropped though as he manages to pull back into safety. And uh, still a lot of roaches and hydras over here. Colossus needs to be very careful and close to snipe down there. RSVP is actually pretty lacking in terms of his units. Uh, he doesn't have any counter or anything like that going on at the moment. And just seeing a little dance here from Killer. Again, that Colossus is uh, way too low to actually push. And here we go, Roach's Speedlings and the Hydras continuing to push towards the front of RSVP's expansion. Colossus needs to be careful. He's going to get sniped. The Roaches coming up as reinforcements snipe down that Colossus very quickly. And all of a sudden, D-Killer's push is very threatening right now. Now that that Colossus got taken out, it is not looking good for RSVP at all. He will be losing a lot at this expansion as this is going to be doing a tremendous amount of damage. And again, still no counter or anything going on from RCP. Dropping some of the DT there. It's going to force the creation of another Overseer as he does not have that cloak detection at the moment. But still, Killer is in a very dominant position. Let's take a look here. Resources lost. RSVP significantly behind at the moment. We've got the high yield expansion up. Killer should be getting that saturated shortly. We'll be seeing attempted counterattack here in the form of a drop from RSVP. But still, the forces continue to push the front of that expansion and will be doing more and more damage. Uh, kill off nine workers so far in this game, so nothing, uh, you know, absolutely ridiculous, but still even nine workers is a fair amount. That Cyber Knight score getting dropped is very bad for RSVP, as now he cannot warp in any more Stalkers or Sentries. Just Zealots will be coming out of those gateways, and that's not good. He's going to need another Cyber Knight score very, very soon, and Killer seems to have won the game right now. RSVP is sticking in it. Uh, but he lost pretty much all of his tech there at his expansion. The biggest thing was losing that Cyber Next Core, and there we go, RCP just calling the GG. Early on, we saw an effective DT drop from RSVP. However, Killer masked up the Roach Hydra forces and managed to push out onto RSVP's expansion and just absolutely devastate him. And we saw no counter aggression at all from RSVP. And then once we saw him take out that Cyber Next Core, that was pretty much the game. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was game number one here in the best of three series between RSVP and Killer. We'll be moving on to game two in just a moment. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.